Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to rank different types of engineering major based on the difficulty level. And just a quick disclaimer, this is my own opinion. My opinion is very subjective to what I think is difficult and what I think is easy. It really depends on your interests, what you like to study, things like math, physics, science, biology, chemistry, stuff like that. So it really depends on your own personal interests. And this is for entertainment only. One of the things is I'm going to briefly talk about what that engineering major is and why is it difficult. First up, we have environmental engineering. What environmental engineering is, is it's focusing on protecting the environment by providing waste disposal, air and water quality, and sustainable design. Why is it difficult is it combine civil engineering, chemistry, and biology. It requires the understanding of complex natural system and regulation while designing practical and scalable solution. So I'm going to rank this major on the D list only because it's very light on physics and math. Okay, and next we have industrial engineering. Industrial engineering optimizes system processes and organization for efficiency. You can find industrial engineer in industry like manufacturing, logistics, and healthcare. Why is it difficult? It demands both technical and soft skill, math heavy, things like statistic operation research, plus a deep understanding of human system and business logic. With that said, I'm going to put industrial engineering on the D tier list. The same reason is very light on physics and complex math. Next, we have computer engineering. Computer engineering blends electrical engineering and computer science to design hardware and low-level software stuff like processor, circuits, and embedded system. Why is it difficult? It involves mastering both hardware and software, often simultaneously. It requires understanding of binary logic, circuits, and programming language, which I am not good at. So, I am going to rank computer engineering on the B tier list only because to me, I'm not very good at programming language, but I feel like I can get an understanding of it if I really try. Next up, we have civil engineering. Civil engineer design infrastructure, things like bridges, road, dam, buildings, etc. So why is it difficult? It combines theoretical mechanics and real-world constraints like weather, soil, cost, etc. It requires a strong structural analysis skill and attention to detail and public safety. Okay, with that said, I'm going to rank civil engineering on the C tier list. The reason why is most of the things that civil engineering design are standing still and they're, they are not moving. So I think it's a bit easier than designing things that are moving. Okay, next we have biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering apply engineering principle to medicines, creating devices like prosthetic imaging machines and artifactual organs. Um, why is it difficult? It's an interdisciplinary. It's required knowledge of biology, material, mechanics, and electronics. It need precision due to the human safety factor. So I am going to rank biomedical engineering on the A tier list because I am very bad at biology and I don't think I would do well in this. Okay, next we have mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers design mechanical system. Anything that move and uses energy like cars, HVAC, robotics, etc. is an extremely, extremely broad major. Why is it difficult? Again, it's very math and physics focused. We learn things like thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, etc. And you need a strong grasp of physics and design principle to be able to success in this major. So I'm going to rank mechanical engineering on the A tier list. Next, we have electrical engineering. It focuses on electrical, electronics, and electromagnetics, like circuits, system, signal processing. Why is it difficult? It involves abstract concepts, 
like signal theory, electromagnetics, and control system, it requires a deep understanding of math and visualization skill. So you're basically studying things that you cannot see. It's like a common joke to refer to electrical engineering as a wizard, and I completely agree with that. So I am going to rank electrical engineering on the S tier list as being the most difficult, FYI. Next, we have chemical engineering. Chemical engineering transforms raw material into useful products using chemistry, physics, biology. You can find chemical engineering in industry like pharmaceutical, fuel, plastic, etc. Why is this so difficult? It's involved like heavy chemistry, thermodynamics, and transport processes. It requires balancing safety, cost, efficiency at scale. With that said, I'm going to rank chemical engineering on the S tier list. I know some chemical engineer, it took them like five years to finish their degree, which is crazy. I couldn't imagine what they're going through. Next, we have material engineering. It's a study and develop material, things like metal, ceramics, polymers, etc. to make them have a better performance in products and structure. Why is this so difficult? It reduce down to the atomic level of understanding. It also intersects between chemistry, physics, and mechanics, and design for extreme condition of performance. With that said, I think material engineering would be on the S tier list of the difficulty level. Okay, next we have software engineering. What software engineering is, they design, build, and maintain software system and application. Why is it so difficult? Abstract thinking is required. You must master multiple programming languages, algorithm, and design principle while debugging complex system. I'm going to rank software engineering on the B tier list. Aerospace engineering is the design of aircraft, spacecraft, missile, and satellites. Why is it difficult? It's apply mechanical and electrical engineering under extreme condition, aerodynamic propulsion and control system. You need a high level of precision and risk make it very demanding. And it's also involved a lot of human safety factor. With that said, I'm going to rank aerospace engineering on the S tier list because it's very difficult. Okay, so that complete my ranking of different types of engineering. If you don't agree with me or if you agree with me, write your opinion in the comment section. I would love to see how you rank these engineering major. If you enjoy this video, you're probably gonna like some of these videos that I make about engineering related topics. I will see you in the next one.